do you ever look at this pantheon or this challenge or this even this door and just think you'll never be able to beat the pantheon of the master well then you're in the right place welcome to nintendo guide and i'll show you tips and i'll go through it myself teaching you some tips and what charms to equip so you can master this maybe on your third try because this is not super easy especially for beginners so let's do this so with the charms let's go to this bench and this is assuming you already have all the charms you're going to need shaman stone unbreakable strength mark of pride and sharp shadow Okay, let's face the pantheon of the master. This is the general thing that you should take, like, 99% of the time. Sometimes I take other things based on tutorial. Like, my Nightmare King Grim tutorial. I card. Go click on that after this video. Okay, so here's the Avenged Black King. He's really easy. All you gotta do, he swoops down, and all you gotta do is pull on top of him. Whenever he yells, just kills me. And then... Pogo, oh, I guess. Whenever you call them, just kill them immediately. Pogo, hit. Pogo, oh, I missed them. So I at least try to get one hit in the loop of Pogo. Just hit these two. Pogo. Pogo. If you really want, you can go out there with the Monarch Wings. Pogo. Pogo. I don't think anybody's having too much trouble with him. So there we go, he's dead. So now let's go into the next box. Boss. Box. Boss. Goose mother. Just hit her from below. And then shadow dash away. Hit her from below. Shadow dash away. Hit her from below. Shadow dash away. Hit her from below. Shadow dash. Whenever she does this move, just hit her once she comes down. And there we go. Okay. Here's the false line. Here's the first actual one. Just keep on hitting him. Just stay close to him. And whenever he goes down, you want to dream nail him. How many ever times? But don't do it too many times. Because otherwise, he's going to go back in. Hit him. Run away. You can actually hit these orange balls towards him. Just stay near him, honestly. And if he swings his mallet, just jump. Use shadow. I forgot what it's called. Okay, so I think. Okay, now. Do you know him? Hit him. Heal. Do you know him? Okay, there we go. Now you're at full soul and full health. Okay. okay, next box. Oh, this is the easiest box in the game. The massive moss charger. Okay, so all you want to do for this box. Oh, I know. Shout dash whenever he does that. But whenever he comes out, just time hits on him. Even if he hits you, just shout dash through. And shout dash. Shout dash. Come on, just stay on the ground. Just perfectly when one hits on him. Pretty easy, boss. I don't understand if people are having trouble with him. Because I did a ton when I first started. Oh boy. I remember this. I remember that. Okay, so here's Hornet. Hit her. Run away. Hit her. Run away. I know she does that move, just shadow dash away. And she does this move, just jump. Jump. Hit her. Whatever she does that move, the shadow dash through her. Or if, in my case. Whatever she does that move, just dash away. Whenever this, this move, dash through her, I think. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, whenever she does the toss, though. Uh, dash away, shadow dash, hopefully. Or just dash away. Okay. Just jump towards her. And then, boom. There you go. Over. Next boss! 
Um, this the uh, hail area. I just stay here in the pond there. Since some of you most likely have not unlocked this, I'm not gonna do it. And you can swap out some charms if you want. I'm not going to. I'd say keep the charms you have right now because it's the good pet. Okay, so Gorb, just stay near him and just move an inch or two to miss being hit. Unlike me, who's an idiot. Move an inch or two. Oh my god, I'm actually a dumb boy. I'm a dumb boy. Just move back and forth. 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 Oh, just three tap times. Move back and forth. Move back and forth. Move back and forth. And there you go. He's beat. He's easy. Also, sorry for the background noises. Okay, so here's Dung Defender or whatever he is. Dung Defender. And I'm gonna just move, just go back and forth hitting him. Just dodge the ball. Whenever he comes up, you see the shadows or whatever it's called, this how. Hit him, challenge him, go back and forth. Then just move. Just hit him. Oh! There we go. Okay, now heal toys. Okay, whatever he does this. Wait. In a monitor, do a this hell. There we go, he's pretty weak as well. Just like everything in this pantheon, <laughs> being honest. But if you're struggling with it, uh, thank you for watching. Okay, here's the Soul Warrior. So, move to the side whenever he teleports. Exactly, whenever he does this, just jump. Maybe this is also just jump. Maybe this is just inch to the side, honestly. Just jump whenever he does that. Just inch to the side. Shadow dash through him if you're very close. Jump. Shadow dash. He spells to get him over with. He's, a, he's, he's not even. He, I don't even count him as a boss. He's a mini boss. Okay, here's a dude in Maul. What you want to do is go back and forth, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, Move away or shadow dash to him. Back and forth, back and forth. Hit him and then shadow dash to him at the last second. Move back and forth, back and forth. Maybe go to hit him, shadow dash to him. If you have extra soul, just use it for, you know, attacking purposes. Shade so and boom, just like that, he's dead. Just hit back and forth, dash through him, use spells from time to time. Again, pretty easy. Okay, who's next? I gotta to talk to him. I already beat this pantheon, so he's gonna talk. He's gonna, if you this is your first time, he's gonna say something different. And here's Oro and Mato. And the video about them is gonna be in the i card up there. If it, it might not have been released yet, but it might not have been released yet, but if you're watching this, probably about a week later or a couple days later, it'll be up in the <gasps> card. So just focus on one, honestly. That's something I didn't mention in my other video that you'll get to see. But focus on one brother and not the other. And then you only have one of these pinky boys to fight. Just run away, use the spell, so this is the last one. Oh no, I'm not gonna die. I am not gonna die. Heal one. Run away. Else. Okay, there we go. I beat them. It was pretty close because I was being reckless, but there you go. That's how you beat the Pantheon of the Master. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Hollow Knight content. And up there in the i card is going to be all of my Hollow Knight tip videos in the playlist. So go binge watch those if you want. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.